Hello there everyone and welcome to this level 4 Forgotten Castle walkthrough. So today I'll be going through the two cheapest routes that I've found without having to do any fights on this level. So it's usually going to be worth checking out these two ways first before you consider any of the other ones. So the first way that I would suggest is to actually go down here and then we take a right and go up to this chest right here because this one actually only costs 2584 which is actually pretty cheap considering that we are at level 4 at this point and then the second cheapest without any fights is going down again going left and instead of going through the fights going down here and going to this chest here and all up to that costs 3521 so it's about 900 and something extra to the other route but it is still relatively cheap because the next cheapest straight route is going up and that costs 4,600 which is a little bit on the pricey side but if you do have a team that has been doing really well in the dungeon so far then there's actually a couple of really cheap routes but they do require you to finish off a lot of fights in a row so the the first one that I'll use as an example is if we go left down here and if we go up then there's three fights here and if you can do all three of these fights then it'll actually only cost 1,594 dice to get and open the chest because the chest itself costs a thousand of those dice so to even get there it's only 594 which is really really cheap but it does depend on whether you can do that fight. But the route that I would definitely suggest avoiding would be the the right hand side route because for a start you've got this fight here which I haven't even been able to do yet and then there's three more fights up in this direction to lead to this chest and if you have to auto complete every single one of these it would actually end up costing you 11,700 dice all up. So that is super duper expensive. So if you're left with that as your only route left, then it's going to suck, basically. But anyway, let's come back to our little diagram like we normally do, because it makes it a lot easier to explain this way. But first off i'm just gonna go over what i said before the first cheapest route is this one here if we come in from the start then we go right and then up and then hit this chest right here and that costs 2584 to go that way so it's actually really not that bad and then the second one would be going right well down again and then down right and then to this chest and then that's 3,521 all up that way and then going up which I'd suggest going the other two that I just said first but this one here no fights 4,600 because every single fight to auto complete on level 4 costs 2,400 dice pieces so it is a little bit troublesome to be completely honest with you and there are actually quite a few fights there's one here there's the three up here and then we've got the three down here as well and then finally the three down here so if you ever want to go any of the routes with the fights there's pretty much at least three no matter which way you go Thank you, Dragon Mania, for being very loud. But those are the ones that you mostly want to avoid if you're not very confident in your team. But like I said, if you are confident that your team can finish off these fights, then you should come straight down here, do all three of these, be very lucky, and then that would only cost 1,594. Yes, that is a five. I am sorry. I am terrible. Because normally that costs 8,200. Yeah, 8,294. If you have to pay for all three fights. And then the next cheapest one to do, if you can do all four of the fights, would to be to come up this way. 
and 2,108 dice in total, or 11,700 if you have to auto-complete it. So yeah, it is a little bit sucky. And I didn't even really mention the route to get to this chest here. Either way, it's a little bit expensive. Even getting there and doing the fight on the way, it costs about 4,000. And then obviously, if you have to pay for it, it's about 6,400. So that route does kind of suck as well. But like I said, try out the right-hand side routes first. The ones where you don't even have to worry about fights because they are pretty cheap by themselves. But that will pretty much end it for level 4. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you just need any tips on getting through the levels, because I know a lot of people are struggling with this event, then please ask. And I'm sure either myself or someone else in the comments will help you out. But we will have level 5 soon, and level 5 is a brain buster, and there are so many different ways to go. So stick, stick to the channel until then, and hopefully we can all get through the event together as a family, if you want to call it that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.